Hello, today we'll be looking at the reaction between aluminium foil and sodium hydroxide. Let's see what happens. For this reaction, we need a very concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide. So we'll be using 54 milliliters of water and 40 grams of our crystalline sodium hydroxide. We're then going to leave it to stir, mixing this in and allowing it to dissolve. This is very exothermic. A large amount of heat is being generated and it really wasn't long before our flask was actually too hot to comfortably touch. After the solution had been left stirring for a while, it became far more clear, as more and more of the sodium hydroxide had dissolved. But the temperature had continued to increase, and I actually became relatively concerned about our flask, as this was not borosilicate glass. But as we move on to the demonstration, we add some aluminium foil to our concentrated solution. I almost added more aluminium, but thought better of it when seeing just how fast this reaction was taking place. Instead, I decided to pop a balloon on top to catch the gas that was being generated. The balloon quickly swelled to a particularly large size. This balloon was now full of explosive hydrogen gas. But instead of just taking my word for it, let's bubble it into some soap. And put these bubbles into the vicinity of a naked flame. But let's have a look at the chemistry that was taking place during this reaction. This reaction has a relatively simple equation. We're adding our aluminium foil to sodium hydroxide and water. These compounds are then being converted into sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas. That hydrogen gas is what gave us an explosive element to our demonstration. And that does bring us to the end. Thank you very much for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe, and carry on learning. Until next time, bye.